Okay, today we're going to talk about creating appointment slots or appointment schedules within Google Calendar. For a while, this feature was only available in school or business accounts, but now it's something that anyone can access, even with a personal account. There are two main ways to create these appointment schedules. The first one, you have to either be in day or week view of your calendar. So right now I'm in month view. I could go over to here, click to change my view, or I could simply click the W key and that brings me into week. D brings me to day view and then M would obviously bring me back to month. So um, to create my appointment schedules, here I am in week view, I simply click on a box. One of the options that comes up is appointment schedule. That simple. The other way you can do this, again, you can do from month view or, or any view, is to use the create button in the upper left, click create, and you'll see that one of your options there is also appointment schedule. So once you click on appointment schedule, you'll be able to, to set, set these all up. So you're going to start by adding a title. We're going to call these band auditions. We'll say that each appointment is going to last for 30 minutes. And then you can set the availability. What are the hours available for this appointment? It could be something that's we, uh, repeating. So it could be like, um, you know, you might always have appointments available on Thursdays, or it could be just a one-time event. So instead of repeat, I'm going to go to does not repeat. And I'm going to click a specific date, December 22nd, and then the time frame where those appointments are available. So let's say maybe 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So those are the hours between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. People can schedule appointments at 30-minute increments. Some other options here, look at your scheduling window. People can schedule up to 60 days in advance to four hours before. You can change that, how far in advance they can schedule um, the minimum time that has to be booked. You can also say if you want, you know, a maximum number of appointments per day, or if you want some, a little bit of buffer time in between appointments. So maybe you truly don't want to work from nine to four nonstop. So maybe you have a, a, a limit, like you can, you'll only do a maximum of 10 in one day or something like that. Um, and then will it check your calendar for availability? So this is kind of neat. So you could also have it check your calendar or any other calendars and automatically remove times from the, the possible appointments if you already have something scheduled. So there's some neat options there. All right, let's close all of these up. So again, we've scheduled our duration. We scheduled when the appointments can happen. We've looked at some of these other options. What color you want the appointments to be. That's fun. Then we'll go to cl click next. And this is going to be when people are booking. So when they go to book an appointment with you, you can select a specific location. Um, if it's going to be an in-person meeting, it could have a, um, you could have like a specific location. If it's going to be on Google Meet, you could add a Google Meet link or just say none. That's okay too. You could put a description. This is going to be show up in the calendar event that's generated. So you could put any additional information. Maybe um, students should be prepared to play X, Y, and Z for their audition. Um, and then you're also, what information are you asking from people? So you're going to, people who create an appointment will need to put their first, last name, and their email address. You could also add something. Maybe you want to add instrument, right? Or maybe you want to make sure you, you add child's name. If the parent is signing them up, here's the parent's first and last name. Here's the child name. Um, and then our final option is it's going to automatically send a calendar invitation to the person, right? It's going to have all of that information, and it's going to send it to your calendar as well. You could also have an, an email reminder sent which is kind of nice. So you can decide when you want that email reminder to go out. Okay, let's close these up. So we've gone through all of our different options. We're going to click save and there it is. So if you want someone to be able to book an appointment with you, again, auditions, conferences, something like that, all you do is you need this share link. So you click the share link. Um, and it's gonna give you a link to that um, booking page. You could also get an embeddable link if you wanted to embed this on a website or something like that. So you would copy your link, send that out to whoever it is that's going to be booking those appointments. Uh, from this menu, you can also open the booking page. This is gonna show you what it will look like. And I'll show you now so you see what the parents or the students would see. 
So here we are. If you, once you send that link, this is what people will see. They'll see, okay, here it is the 22nd. Here are all of the different options. And let's say someone wants to go ahead and book an audition for one o'clock PM. They would click on that and it would ask what's the first name, last name, and email address. So it's auto filling some of that. Obviously I would have to fix it. Uh, fix it. In fact, we can do that now. Let's fix this. Teresa Hoover and we'll hit book. So it's going to give that bookings confirmed. An email has been sent to me with that booking. Um, there's also an option to cancel it, change it. And just so you see what it looks like now, on the booking page, that time has disappeared. Nobody else can book a one o'clock appointment. And then if I go back to my calendar, you'll see the top one right here is showing that this is the event. This is the, um, the appointment schedule. And then it's showing here's where somebody has booked that appointment. Okay. So it's a great feature. Again, you can use it for parent teacher conferences. Sorry, we don't need this. Uh, parent teacher conferences, you can use it for auditions. You can use it for office hours, anything that you want people to be able to schedule something and you don't want to have to individually schedule each one on your own. This appointment schedule can be great. So I hope this is helpful.